my name is Zaltycore. Welcome back to It Moves. We're somewhere. We're very tiny. There is some. Okay. Weird. This is weird. Okay, I'm getting out of here. So, we're in some sort of blob. At a crossroads in life, what does one do? Stand at the crossroads, if you will. But if you'll not choose, I'll move on without you. Okay. Oh. Okay. No, thank you. Come on. Having once chosen, never to seek to return to the crossroads of that decision. Even if one chooses wrongly, the choice cannot be unmade. I... but I can't... They're blocking my way! Ah, oh, come on. It moved. It was sub subtle, uh, but its grip on my shoulder and across my body strengthened. No tears came, but God, how I wanted to cry. As its hands and arms slowly coiled around me, my left leg brushed along the cool wall, which the bed lay against. Of all that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. Oh god! That's so creepy! <laughs> I realized that this clutching, ranched thing which drew great delight from violating a young boy's bed was not entirely on top of, top of me, it was sticking out from the wall. Like a spider striking from its lair? Ah! Suddenly it's gripped, moved from a slow tightening to a sudden squeeze. It pulled and clawed at my clothes as if, as if frightened that the opportunity would soon pass. I fought against it, but as its emancipated arm was too strong for me, its head rose up, writhing 
and contorting under the blanket. I didn't realize where it was taking me. Into the wall. I fought for my dear life. I cried and suddenly my voice returned to me. Yelling, screaming, but no one came. Then I realized why I was so eager to suddenly attack. Why this thing had to have me now. Through my window. That window which seemed to represent so much malice from outside. Street hope. The first rays of sunshine I struggled further. Oh, I'm sorry. I struggled further knowing that if I could just hold on, it would soon be gone. Okay! As I fought for my life, the unearthly parasite shifted, slowly pulling itself up my chest. Its head now poking out from under the blanket. <laughs> Wheezing, coughing, rasping. I do not remember its features. I simply remember its breath against my face. Foul and as cold as ice. As the sun broke over the horizon, that dark place, that suffocating room of contempt, was washed, bathed in sunlight. I passed out as its scrawny fingers encircled my neck, squeezing the very life from me. my father offering to make me some breakfast. A wonderful sight indeed. I had survived the most horrible experience of my life until then. And now. I moved the bed away from the wall, leaving behind the furniture I had believed would stop the thing from taking a bed. Little did I think that it would try to take mine and me. Weeks passed without incident, yet on one cold, frost-bitten night, I woke to the sound of the furniture where the bunk beds used to be vibrating violently. I lay there sure I could hear a distant wheezing coming from deep within the wall, finally fading into the distance. The following year, I was given a larger room on the other side of the house, and my parents took that room as their bedroom. They said they didn't need a large room, just one bed, one big enough for a bed and a few things. They lasted 10 days. We moved on the 11th. <laughs> Beat that, parents! I lasted a year! You lasted 10 single days! Woo! Please don't jump scare me. That's so gonna be cheap. It moves! A game by Snow Owl! Okay, that scared me right there. The parents lasted only 10 days. That is hilarious. And I had to stick with this for how many? More than months. So. Ah. I hope you enjoyed the series of It Moves. I'll be moving on to other things soon. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. It was fun to play. Guys, just put them in the comments below. Okay. Do you want to support me? Get bigger. Hit the subscribe button. Do you like this video in particular? Hit the like button. Got any criticism or anything? Hit it. Comment down below. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you next time. <laughs>